Hello and welcome to the next video of my LCS 2024 preview series where we're going to cover NRG, the number one seed representative at uh, Worlds last year for North America. Ironically, went to quarterfinals, the only Western team to do so. And I say that ironically because I don't think really anybody but a fan of NRG would have thought that was going to happen. Um, definitely a shocker. They went 9-9. Nine and nine in summer after taking over from clg there's a re the reason why i don't have clg stuff up here despite it being essentially the same roster is because clg and energy are completely different organizations right so energy is a different way of thinking average age of this roster is going to be 25.2 years old as they've only uh changed out supports ignar went to giants x or giant x formerly known as xl in the lec and they've brought in who he from golden guardians who uh, has played with FBI in the past with Golden Guardians and 100 Thieves. So this roster, like I said, they haven't made changes. And I don't know what to really to really think because on paper, this roster is very uninspiring, right? Uh, the record is uninspiring. They went on a run in the playoffs. They beat Cloud9 in a situation that I would argue would be representative of the need for a double uh, for a winner bracket reset um, in double elim because C9 beat NRG, then NRG beat C9. Therefore, there should have been a third best of series to actually determine first overall. In the end, though, NRG go to quarters and they lose to Weibo at Worlds, but nevertheless, they got there, right? They beat G2 to get there. Um, Dokla, 26 years old, 72 games last year, 240, oh, damn it, <coughs> excuse me, 72 games played, 2-4 KDA, 7-7 CS per minute, 55-4 KP, a little more involvement, um, played weak side, 21.1 gold chair, 475 DPM, 21.3 damage chair, on average behind at 15 minutes, over 200 gold, 6 CS, 145 XP, 15 solo kills, 13 champions played. His most common three champions, Kaysante, Renekton, and Scion. Just over half. I think the Scion really kind of shows something, right? Because a lot of these players we've talked about throughout this series play Jax in the trio. But but Dokla, it was Scion. Contracts. Uh, definitely a, a MVP candidate last year. I thought Contracts played very well. Um, actually surprised the hell out of me. Um, and alongside Palafox, they really had some synergy that allowed NRG to make a difference. At 24 years old, in 72 games, they had a 3.6 KDA, 5.3 CS per minute, 73.3 KP. Facilitator oriented, making things happen. 18.5 gold share, 362 damage per minute, which was 16% of damage, which is pretty high. Usually we see the 13 to 15 in that range, but 16, high. Um, down, 15 gold, 2 CS, 10 XP, negligible. Um, 7 solo kills, 19 champions played. A big part of this team's success was the diverse picks from the jungle and mid lane. Um, Sejuani, Maokai, Vi, 44% of the 72 games. In mid lanes, Palafox, at 24 years old, was one of the better mid laners in the LCS last year. 72 games, 4-5 KDA, 8-7 CS per minute, 71.8 KP. Like I said, so you look, this team really fought around each other. I'm sure if we had Ignar's stats up here, he'd be around 70 KP as well. 23.2 um, gold share, very high for a mid. Um, 641 DPM, which is 28% of the team's damage. 20 gold and 35 XP ahead, down 2 CS. So once again, Contracts and Palafox, both pretty average in the early game 25 solo kills 22 champions played uh, jace azir talia 40 percent of his games and that really kind of shows you the diversity right jace carry azir can do carry or facilitate with the shuffle and just have poke or talia which is more often a facilitator a playmaker FBI, 24 years old, one of the most um, efficient players in the league. When it, in, in, Actually, I put on um, Discord some extra content, um, just some tables where I looked at uh, gold efficient damage versus gold efficiency from last year. And FBI is the most efficient player. I believe he is, 
I think it was the case. He was the most efficient player um, in the four major regions when it came to damage based on gold, right? Like DPM divided by gold per minute. So 71 games, 4-3 KDA, 8-9 CS per minute, 70.3 KP. Keep in mind, the first half of his season was with Evil Geniuses. 24.1 gold share, 712 damage per minute, 30% of the team's damage. A lot of damage for low farm. He is older. It makes some sense. Um, you look at his career. He's played a lot of weak side. In I mean, he's a weak side player usually. Um, and, and that is what it is, right? I don't expect FBI to take the bull by the horns and carry a game, um, which makes him just kind of, you know, a solid player. But at the same time, he has shown in the past to offer more than just this weak side play. 60 gold ahead, 1 CS, 115 XP, uh, 9 solo kills, 14 champions played, Kesa Aphelios Zeri, 45%. Then lastly, the new addition, Huhi, at 28 years old, um, had 86 games played with Golden Guardians, um, 3-9 KDA, 73 KP, 176 DPM, so offering a little more pop as a support. 3.22 vision score per minute would place 8 wards every five minutes two control wards every five minutes and um uh clear about two wards every five minutes so his control to clear ratio is about even 26 champions played rakan nami and rel just over one third of the games at 34 percent so a lot of options with this team when it comes to um compositions which offers threats at international events, right? If you can do many different things, they're harder to prepare for, harder to scout, harder to, you know, just frankly, scrim, you know, I guess prepare for in, in another way. It's just NRG is a real puzzling team. It's just, it's puzzling. Think card, coach, has historically done well with rosters that would surprise you. He coached Clutch Gaming the year they went to Worlds. Um, 83 and 97 in individual games in the regular season in the LCS, 49 and 47 in the playoffs, and 10 and 12 at international events. So has had a pretty solid career if he can get to the playoffs. Um, and like I said, he's coached teams um, that honestly would be unassuming. Uh, and maybe that's what he um, is. You know, he's really good at getting the most out of his players. Let's just let's just put it that way. So um, this team. Do I expect them to win um, spring? Probably not. Do I expect them to go to Worlds? I mean, three teams make it, maybe. Um, I think a lot of people are picking them to go, and I think they're riding that high from last year, and at the same time, I'm looking at it, and I feel the same way I did last year, right? They, they did well in summer. They kind of got your hopes up to CLG, and then, you know, they just kind of were whatever. In, in spring and then whatever in summer of 2023 and then won playoffs and went to worlds and then actually went to quarters so it's just it's an enigma of a team um for sure so thank you for watching if you like the video like it subscribe to the channel for daily league of legends content follow me on twitter join the discord become a youtube supporter and hope to see you again tomorrow